Do you find yourself stuck in a certain division that you just got to or just don't seem to be getting the consistent RP you should be getting? Well, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to rank up fast in Apex Legends ranked season eight. I went ahead and pulled up the Apex tracker. I've just under 20,000 RP for this rank split. Now, this is what I want to show you guys is the overall ranked scoreboard for all divisions. And you're going to see a lot of peaks and valleys throughout these divisions. And that's where some players are getting stuck on. A lot of the peaks are at the start of a new division. For example, we have Silver over four here which is a small peak i mean compared to the others it's not the biggest but we go a step up there you go gold four next one will be plat four that's where a lot of comments I see you guys are getting stuck on plat four. The next peak is diamond four and then slight peak on masters right here. If you're looking between diamond three to masters. So no matter what peak you're stuck at, I'm going to be showing you guys in this video on how to actually gain RP and level up consistently. After hours on end grinding ranked and gaining lots of RP, I've put together a four tip ultimate rank guide to help you get to the next rank you deserve. As per usual, timestamps can be found down in the description box below. With that said, let's get straight into the first tip I have, which is finding and building reliable teammates. The key word here is building. Not every new teammate you find will be a perfect suit for you and your playstyle. I think creating a solid team takes time, which leads me into playing consistently. A reliable teammate is one who is dedicated just as much as you are, if not more. So playing every day is a big help, but the real goal is trying to play as consistently as possible. This helps build team chemistry and lower raging since you and your teammates will start to capitalize on simple mistakes and start to build more trust in gunfights. I think raging and having a big ego and egos clashing everywhere is something many teams face and it can very well be the downfall to a team. Limit the raging and start some clear and vocal callouts to get everyone on the same page. This builds a more communicated and well-rounded team and with Apex Legends being a highly team-based game, following this first tip will be a big step towards gaining RP. So let's jump into the first example I have which covers having clear comms and keeping everyone on the same page. You wanna go left or you wanna 50 this? Money. Just one. If it's this one. There's a guy right on us. Be beware. I didn't get a weapon. I didn't get a gun, man. I didn't get a gun. Two of them are knock, bro. Good knock. It has to be three teams. Good. Yep. One's out here. I need to grab this armor. One's inside. Got scanned from over there. Enemy removed. You want to play lice, boys? Play lice. I hear one guy. He's in he here. Him. Yeah, there's one person there. I'm going. Inside 69 broke. Fish hall, someone good shit. People behind us. More, more, more. Yeah, second floor sweat. They're on I roof. Am, I am. Don't get oh, oh yeah, he's up are. here, he's That's up here. He's coming, I'm coming. Wraith is absolutely dusted. 10 HP Wraith, trust me. Got him, got him, got him. He's on roof sweat. Rising is cracked. Coming. Got you. Nice. Let's go, baby. Having good callouts, trusting your teammates, and playing consistently is only the beginning. Next, let's jump into the second tip I have, which is taking smart fights. While we all want to go off and try to kill most of the lobby, sometimes in rank you have to take a step back and evaluate the situation. Not every team that you see needs to be fought. Picking smart fights is like a game of chess. Do you have the ammo and heals for it? Do you have the upper hand and the angles during a fight? Is there another team lurking on the outside just waiting for a third party? These are things that should be going through your head while taking the approach during a fight. A gunfight should not be rushed unless needed to. Don't be afraid to back up and reposition if necessary. A full team reset is crucial in many moments during ranked. One thing to keep in mind when trying to take a smart fight is noticing your team's positioning compared to the ring. If you see a team that has better positioning for the next ring and there's no other way to rotate around them, then it's a perfect opportunity to take a fight and obtain their positioning. Let's take a look at a quick example I have of taking a smart fight to obtain better positioning. They're jumping off that. There's no way they're sitting up there. Bang, 150. Come here, we go up, we go up, we go up, we go up. Right oh, they're right. not, they're not up. up. Now Rise they're going back up. Go up, go up, Stone. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna black hold them. Bang down. One's close, right? I st hit him with an arc. Rise and cracked. I can't climb up. That's all you boys. Nice and down. One has self. One's got self. Nice. 
If you guys are enjoying the video so far, a like rating is always appreciated and consider subscribing. We're so close to 100k, which has been a goal of mine since starting YouTube. Now let's get into the third tip I have for you, which is taking advantage of crafters. The smallest idea, yet it's overlooked by so many teams and could be the difference between losing or gaining RP. If you have the chance to cap up on big kills from a crafter, then go for it. Having batteries and medkits during a fight makes a big deal and can easily help you be the aggressor in certain situations. The perfect setup, in my opinion, is to try and always have four batteries and two medkits in terms of big heals. Cells and syringes can vary based on preference and the amount of throwables you want to carry. But try and always keep four batteries on hand and don't forget to share loot with your teammates. You're only as strong as your weakest link. So be sure to equal out the big kills across your team. Now, some of you are probably saying to yourselves, why is this even a tip? I always use crafters nearby. In that case, yes, you are correct. But what I'm talking about is using a crafter, even if it means rotating in storm to cap off on big kills. However, when doing this, just be aware of how hard the storm is hitting and how far you have to rotate to afterwards. If you have a ways to go, then you might want to start thinking about making more med kits than batteries. So let's take a look at an example when rotating in storm for a crafter was necessary to get out of a sticky situation. You don't have any shields on? No, no. Here. Got one cell and one battery. We can just go south for a bolster and a tower. The, the compound around this mountain, I don't think that was hit either. Yeah, it wasn't. They're on top, they're Pink. watching us. They're watching us, they're just looking. Can we just oh. rotate there? And then there's a full team jumping up there. Oh, we gotta rotate somewhere quick. Yeah. We could loot this compound, yeah, 100%. It's a totem. They're getting close. All three are down. Close. Hey, dude. You're moving back home. I'll cover you. I'll pick some back. I'm gonna smoke us. Back down. sent back. It's just the rev on the left. Yeah. I got nice. him. That's all three. Oh, right, right, give me to our left. Straight north, straight north. I'll scan in a second. I got a, I have a mech in my hands. He was sold out, too. Just he ran, he ran. A good idea Let's, now. Can we, we, we cross? We could just go around. Go around this way. So, they're not that good. Team top side isn't good, man. Yeah, we're just gonna keep on. Alright, alright, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. Jesus Christ, relax, bro. I'm in round one done, and it's already three totem teams we survived. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're waiting for another totem. Oh, wow, those guys are actually shit. They just miss so I'm many bullets. That mech kit. There's a crafter right here we can go do. It is only round one. I'm gonna do that. I don't care about going over there at all. Either. You really need something, let me know. I'm gonna hit this jump tower, get inside circle, and let me know. Good zone, you got heals. I'm ripping the balloon, yeah, I got two medis. A couple bet. syringes. All right, ladies and gents, now let's get into the fourth and final tip I have for you, which is try and always set up for long and close range. Your weapon loadout can play a huge role in gaining or losing RP. So being prepared for every possible situation is the real key towards finding more success in these ranked games. Yes, we all know how nice it is to run dual close range weapons, but this can easily resist you from winning a game that forces you to be a part of a long range gunfight. If you have a full team with dominant positioning holding it down with long range weapons, Mastiff and Volt combo is not the best for a counter to that. Instead, try looking for a consistent long range weapon you feel most comfortable with, whether that be the G7 Scout, Hemlock on single fire, R301, or even triple take. Pair those weapons with a solid close range gun like the Volt SMG, R99, or even a shotgun, and this setup will have you and your team on the route to victory in no time. Coordinated shots from afar can get you a quick and easy knock, and how I always say, the initial knock is crucial during a fight and most teams will fall apart afterwards. Just be ready to make an aggressive push and capitalize on the first knock if possible. Now let's take a look at the last example I have for you guys where using long range can help smooth out your rank games. Dropping down in the second control. One's right here. No, one's right on me, right on me. Oh, damn, beam. 140. Oh, I'm really close. Come back. Frank. Right down, right down, right down. Enemy taken down. Got this. Got Last this. one was here. Almost yeah. cocked. 68 blue, uh, red. If he has a nade, we're dead. Put that way. You have bubble? I'm waiting. Good job, good job. 
Take Kill him, bat. Take my only bat. No, I didn't thirst wraith. I did not thirst wraith. I'm going for height behind this team. Any light ammo in there, Tom? I have 70. I got two guns. Yeah, I'll give you 60. Wait, I need bat. Do you guys have bats or no? I'll give you a bat. Yeah, yeah. Drop the bat here. Drop the bat I got him. I got him. Octane on top of me. Oh, he's down low. Come on. He's a solo. He's a solo. Yeah, come on. Come around. Come around, Tom. Forget about him. Don't worry about him. Come on. He's a solo. I'm coming. Let them worry about them. We could we could play this little ledge where uh, they were hiding on us. So when you all get here, don't don't use your horizon. Just follow me. Oh, one close. Oh, nice. They're ready. They're rev alting. Rev alting. They're gonna jump on us. No, no, it's not. I would love to be able to get out nice. of this. Nice. Of course, the rev alting. You're getting pushed by Octane above. I right? I don't know if he's running. I think one of you guys should get res off. Good knocks, home. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Yeah, heal up fully. My god, bro. They have angles from everywhere. Just come to me, come to that edge of the wall. Come to that edge of the wall. Yeah, coming, get, coming, coming, coming. get the res off, fuck it. They jump down, sweat, so I'm keep an eye out. Nah, I'm taking a Phoenix, I have to. Alright. Got you, I got you. Play under as long as you can. Horizon up. I'm about to ult. I'm about to ult. Okay. You want to get height? Ready? Throw it. Go, go, go. go. Rev nearly cracked her. Rev's uh, dead. Rev's I got down. two on me. I got two on me. Oh, God, go. oh my God. What a game. Whoa. Go, e e e e. I was frying at the end there when you were down control. I lasered everyone for 100 plus. Thank you for spending a couple minutes every day with me. I wish you guys all the best with your ranked endeavors. Be sure to leave a comment down below on your goal for the end of this split. And as always, this has been your boy Solon D. And I'm signing off. Peace.